but just so we can have a better understanding also, um, for you at KCCR, uh, daily, uh, I mean, how many samples are brought for testing on the average? <laughs> Sometimes you can receive 3,000. 2,500, um, sometimes 1,500. So um, these numbers are the, num the samples coming in. Uh, but um, in terms of how many we are able to test, we are able to do between 1,000 and 2,500 on daily basis. This is because we have increased our, our staff strength. Um, we're only, when we started or when this pandemic began, we were just receiving samples in tens, in hundreds. It moved into the 200s, the 500s, the thousands. So we also uh, needed to re-strategize, bring in more hands. So now we do day, night, every time when you get into our labs you definitely meet people testing doing data entry doing sample collection and everything related to the testing of this particular virus mm. so if you have on the average between thousand five to two thousand five or let's even say three thousand and you'd be able to do two thousand five hundred daily yeah? then on days that you have a thousand five samples coming in your uh, you know capacity of doing two thousand five would make up for you know, the shot for the previous day. So how come you have backlogs? Um, so, like I said, it is not as if every day we end up receiving 1,000. Mm. Sometimes we, we can receive 2,000. Sometimes we may receive 3,000. Just uh, sometimes you receive 3,500. Sometimes it is 3,000. Just today, we had to increase our staff strength mm. because of the numbers we have um, sitting, the samples we have sitting in our labs. Now we want to clear everything. How many samples Hopefully do you have sitting Saturday, in your lab currently? Um, maybe a little over 8,000, 8, but we have given ourselves in, yes, we have given ourselves um, up to Sunday, we should be able, and the good thing is that um, now we have also, ex even, even on KNUST campus, we have expanded our tentacles, we have set up a lab at uh, Confanochi, we hope that very soon it will be up and running. The interesting thing is that for this particular virus, you need a special containment to enable you to uh, work on the virus. So even for us in Noguchi, we never work with the live virus, the viable virus. What does that because mean? Because to enable you, or if you, yes, so a living, the living, the live virus. If you want to grow the virus or so-called culture the virus, you need a special containment. And this containment is known as a biosafety level four oh. um, laboratory. But what we and Noguchi have, we have a biosafety level three. So for even for us, when we receive the samples, we do something known as inactivation because we cannot work with the, with the live virus or with the living virus. So we have to inactivate the virus and then work on just the genetic aspect, which is the RNA of the virus, and enable us to see whether the sample is positive or is negative. And these are all short short shortfalls okay. if uh, you have only two facilities with biosafety level three then definitely it means that your testing capacity or your ability to produce results will definitely be be limited we know that in um, pon tamale they have a biosafety level three the veterinary services department in accra they have a biosafety level three as well and i know that in the western region i think the canadian embassy or the mm. canada the canadian government they put up um, a biosafety level three laboratory but then in the absence of a biosafety level three laboratory you can also use a biosafety level two but then it means that those who are working on the samples, the suspected samples, you have to don a full PP with face shields, with goggles, with every single thing uh, needed. So these are all challenges. But I think we've mm. been able to, even in the so, face so of what, what would have been the best, you know, laboratory uh, with biosafety levels? Is it level four that is the best for? Uh, you mm. know, so you, you don't need level four. You know, when you watch movies, level four, you see people working in labs. It's as if they are swimming, they are in space, and they are working. So that one is a typical biosafety level four. You need that when you want to culture, grow the virus, and play, not play, but um, do something with the live virus. Because it's a new virus, you, if you have a biosafety level three, then you may only want to inactivate the virus and rather deal with the RNA of the virus. Okay. Um, we'll go for a break shortly, but before we go for the break, so 
you have a backlog of 8,000 cases. Close, close, close to, to 8,000 8, cases. Eight, because today we have tested some. Mm. So chances are that, and I, I need to go and look at okay. the, um, the logs. Chances mm. are that it has gone down. But I have seen a number of cars um, trooping in with, with samples. So these okay. are just um, so, so, um, so these estimates. To, yes, these, uh, you know, the close to 8,000 that you have, how many days, based on even your expanded capacity or your expanded staff, would you take to uh, you know, uh, complete the 8,000 backlog that you have? 